says detectives took the teen's phone. He was up with him till 1.30 in the morning last night, texting as if he were my son. And he sent him multiple new photos and arranged uh, to come over to our neighborhood to get the park. Father saying he was soliciting his son for sex. He now wants... First at 11, breaking news, a Sewell's Point police officer is under arrest accused of sexual misconduct involving an underage teen. Let's get to WPTV's Megan McRoberts with the latest after speaking with that teenager's father. Sewell's Point Police Chief Tina Chechenowski says a five-year officer, Juan Garcia, is now on leave without pay, charged in a Martin County Sheriff's investigation with four counts of solicitation and one count of traveling to meet a minor. I just felt like where it was going, it was putting my son in a very dangerous um, place, so I just feel like my son is now. We're not identifying this father of the 15 year old boy to protect his son's identity. He says his family met Garcia eight years ago through a youth organization. Garcia became a mentor to his son and friend to the family. My son said that's you know the main reason he feels betrayed because he was we treated him like family and really have supported him. I, he's had a hard time since his family came to the United States and uh, I know his dad was arrested and, and taken back to Mexico and yeah, they've, they've had to try and make it without him here. And, uh, he got his citizenship and just really, you know, pulled himself up, it seemed like. The father says Garcia also owned a taco truck where the teen had worked, but recently says his son was reluctant to be near Garcia. My son wasn't um, going to work with him on his taco truck, which I thought was odd because he loved it. He started trying to set up times to take my son out uh, to eat just to mentor him. And my son wasn't going with him. He would say he was, and then at the last minute, he would cancel. So um, Sunday night, I took his phone away from him, and, and I found all the text. The father contacting law enforcement. He says detectives took the teen's phone. He was up with him till 1.30 in the morning last night, texting as if he were my son. And he sent him multiple new photos and arranged uh, to come over to our neighborhood to get the park. Father saying he was soliciting his son for sex. He now wants to know if the investigation will reveal any other possible victims. Well, you know, at minimum that he would be on the sex offenders list and not be a police officer. Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.